Hello, thank you for calling Sigma of Philippines. How can I help you today? Hi, my name is uh, Phuc Mai Bit. I am uh, calling for my uh, bot, uh, Envu Film. He, uh, he want to see if he can uh, get the land for a review. Okay, sir, uh, what would you like? He uh, would like uh, to review the new uh, 65 uh, app to land. Uh, is that possible? How about the 45 millimeter lens, uh, the 45 f 2.8, sir? Uh, he want to review the 65, the uh, 45 is too old now and it uh, only after 2.8, uh, that's not enough. But we can only provide you with the 45 today, sir. Why? You only have 8,000 subscribers. Uh, you will need at the very least 15 subscribers to be eligible to review newer lenses from us. But the uh, 45 f 2.8 it uh, it not enough uh, bokeh uh, to the do the YouTube do back uh, cinematic video you need to have f 1.4 f 1.8 maybe f 2 we f 2.8 not enough bokeh for the YouTube do back sir the 45 is perfectly fine for you to do your review it is good enough sir you know it's a good starting point for you and you could build a relationship with us and once you get to fifteen thousand subscriberships there is already understanding you know with your abilities sir and then we could provide you with newer lenses going forward for you to review for us on the youtube but for now definitely only the 45 sir we cannot do anything newer than the 45 Okay, fine. Uh, he won't be happy, but uh, I think that's okay for now. How would you like to pay for it, sir? Pay? I'm sorry, sir, for the misunderstanding, but you must have 15,000 subscribers to be able to get free products for review. Squarespace and Storyblocks sponsorship. And then from there, we can do a review of your account and maybe we can provide you with free lenses for review but for now you have to pay for it okay fine let me email the the uh, payment information thank you for your payment information sir we're gonna go to the back and we're gonna bucket for you we're gonna pack the lens bucket really good and then we're going to send it to you and it will be in very Good condition for your re review after we do a really good job packing it in the back. You what? We're going to pack it. No man, uh, it's okay. You don't you don't have to do all that. You know that that kind of weird, man. You don't have to do all that. Why why you do that, sir? We have to pack it. We must. It is a requirement from Sigma that when before we send out the lenses, we must pack it really nicely with a bucket really good so that when it's sent out it is in the best condition for review which means the bucking of the lens needs to be 100 percent sir hey man uh maybe we just buy the 65 from the bn8 photo we we don't need to uh we don't need the land from you okay we just buy it from bn8 photo okay what's up everyone vu of envu films and i am back with another clearly idiotic video for you to watch. In today's idiotic video, I am reviewing uh, just a basic review of the Sigma 65mm F2 DG DN. DN stands for these nuts lens today. No longer a new lens because clearly I just finally got the one that I ordered with my own money for review for my own use. I finally got it and after, I don't know, past couple months, finally came. Let's just skip to the basics, okay? Build quality, fantastic. Metal, plastic, whatever, it feels great. Plenty of reviewers that got it uh, a couple months back that will probably agree with me that this is an outstandingly built, a very sexy looking lens. Very, uh, it lives up to its DN, D's Nuts name. And of course it comes with a nice lens uh, hood feels metal very robust very high quality no complaints there uh 62 millimeter thread 
And as you can see on that little stupid intro video, I was using a 62 millimeter Tiffin Black Pro Mist filter, one eighth level Black Pro Mist filter. And as I go through this video, I am going to show you video footage that I used of this 65 millimeter F2 lens using a variable ND X mist filter from Freewell. Uh, so it's a combination of ND filter and mist filter combined. Very nice. I will be doing a review on those shortly. And if you like that kind of thing, please hit the subscribe button to see that review. So mainly, I'm gonna focus on video because I'm a videographer and there's already plenty of photography based reviews on this lens. In my opinion, this lens is great for photography. Nice and compact. It is very well suited for the Sony E-mount system. Uh, the balance is great. If you were to compare this with another equivalent lens, uh, the 55 millimeter F1.8 from Sony, or even something like a 24 to 70 Sigma DGDN, DN stands for D's nuts lens uh, that has a similar, you know, you could have that fo same focal length within that zoom range, you know, see the 65 millimeters, you could go up to 70 millimeters on a uh, 24 to 70 DGDN, D's nuts lens, and obviously 65 is within, within that range. And some may ask, well, Vu, you already have the 24-70 DG DN DN stands for D's nuts. Why would you need another D's nuts 65 millimeter when the Sigma D's nuts is already available to you and the focal length is already there, you know, minus you lose that F2 instead with the F2.8? Well, simple fact, the 24-70 DG DN DN stands for D's nuts is a very massive nuts. So it's quite big, quite heavy. And this is just nice and small and very compact, especially if you're doing some documentary shooting. Uh, you have, you know, eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, which I do a lot when I do weddings. Uh, this is a lot more comfortable to hold. And of course, if you're on gimbal, this is a lot more compact and easy to balance and all that stuff, even though this balance fine. And I just like prime lenses, okay? If you were to get one lens, I always recommend you get the 2470 DGDN DN. DN stands for D's nuts lens. And as always, that's the perfect first lens for you to get. If you only had one lens, F2.8 is fine. With the 2470, it's very sharp, great lens. But there is some special things about a prime lens that just has this nice look, has this nice feel that I can't quite explain. Which is why I just like I just like prime lenses and I just like odd focal lens. I I found the 65 millimeter a very attractive lens. Sometimes when I'm using my 55 millimeter Sony F1.8 Zeiss lens, maybe I feel like I wanna get a little bit closer. So then I do have an 85 millimeter Sigma DG DN DN stands for D's nuts lens. And maybe that is a little bit too tight, but I still want a prime lens. I still wanna have that nice prime look and feel. This is where the 65 millimeter seems to fit in perfectly. Now here is the Sony 55, which is probably the closest competitor to the 65 millimeter. Sigma DG DN DN stands for D's nuts lens. But hey, look, you know, they are quite similar in size. The uh, Sigma D's nuts is a little bit more girthy and thick, but they are pretty much, you know, taking up the same type of real estate in your camera bag and in your hands. So to me, they're pretty close. And I'll be doing a full review comparison between these two lenses coming up soon. So if you wanna see that, please again, subscribe to this channel to get notified when that video drops. But um, I'm gonna definitely compare these two lenses to see if, you know, obviously I don't wanna have two lenses this close in terms of focal length. So I'm gonna see if this 65 will do good enough for me where I could actually just maybe sell my 55 millimeter um, f1.8 lens. I love this lens, it is great. Um, but sometimes that 50 millimeter range could be quite boring. I like working with 35 and I like working with 85. And if I just want some more versatility instead of being so tight all the time in tight spaces and I still wanna do my documentary work, I still have that nice telephoto um, storytelling depth of field compression uh, with my lens. The 65 seems to do quite well uh, so far. Um, just from using, you know, testing it out there with my daughter, 
um, going out there and filming her, you know, just doing her own thing, playing with the water, playing with the rocks. Uh, I really like the handling. The autofocus is fantastic. I have completely no complaints. Like any lens for Sony pretty much performs autofocus fanta is fantastic. So you can't really go wrong with any Sony lens on any Sony body a7 III, A7 R3 and going forward. Um, and especially with the Sony A7S III, you pretty much can't touch that autofocus. So there's no issues there. Some people had complained about focus breathing and I do notice it. It's actually not that bad. And for my style of shooting, I don't do those like rack focus type stuff a lot. So it's not a huge deal for me. Um, when it actually is focus tracking, I don't really notice it. It looks great, um, smooth, and it locks on the focus really quick. Um, it also, the flaring. Um, so I actually use, like I said, the uh, Freewell Variable ND with mist on these uh, video tests. And the flaring seemed great. I mean, definitely quite bloomy, but that is also due to this mist here um, that creates that bloom effect. And why didn't I just shoot uh, this Sigma lens uh, straight up without any mist filters or anything like that? Um, because I find that these lenses are sharp as crap. So if I'm out there and I'm gonna show you video testing, the image is gonna be great. It's gonna be super sharp. And the way I film it, I always put some type of mist filter on my videos. So when I use any lens um, for video work, I have always put either a black pro mist filter. Um, and in this case, I'm using the ND mist from Fruitwell because they sent it to me and I'm gonna test it. So. That's what I'm doing. Um, but you know, just to show you what it would look like uh, using this lens as a video lens. And again, I really have no complaints. It is you know, a great size, uh, great image. Um, you really can't go wrong. It's really just up to you uh, what kind of style of shooter you are. Uh, where this lens might come in handy for you. It's just like I get again, man, this is just a great size lens versus This is 2470 This is the 65 um, You know when you look at it, you're kind of like well, there's a lot of versatility But this 65 is literally less than half the size of the uh, 2470 and this includes um, you know, not just like the overall uh, length of the lenses, but you know, I'm talking about like girth too. Like the, this is fatter and just heavier. Um, and this is just obviously smaller and lighter. So definitely comes to play, especially if you know, you're the type that just likes using prime lenses. Sony E-mount prime lenses are great sizes. You know, you, 55 is tiny. 35 signy 35 millimeter GM is also small, which I, I have coming up. I'm actually filming with the 24 GM right now, and that's a tiny lens. So if you just like to have good size lenses for your kit, um, this goes, you know, perfect, perfectly with it. Um, so overall, my impressions, my review of the Sigma DGDN 65 millimeter D's nuts lens from Sigma, highly recommended. Um, do I recommend it over a Sony 55 millimeter? Don't know yet. I'll let you know in a future video. Like again, again, if you want to see the video, please hit the subscribe button. And, um, but hey, if, if you find the 65 millimeter very attractive and that's the one you want to go for, for 600 bucks, highly recommend this lens. It's, it, it's uh, great quality, um, great functionality. You know, every, just everything feels nice. Even like the, the focus wheel, um, now this is a, a clicky aperture ring, um, so it's not clickless and there's no option to turn the click off. So you're kind of stuck with a clicky uh, aperture ring. Not my problem, I don't really have an issue with it. I usually do not change aperture in the middle of shooting something and when I do change my aperture, I always use the actual uh, Sony uh, buttons. So I always leave it on auto anyway. So for me, this is fine. Some of you may not be the case. So that's something you may want to consider. Uh, but overall, looking into some an interesting focal length, um, something versatile, something that may not be as tight as 85, something close to the 55, but maybe a little bit more compression, highly recommend this lens. Um, 
that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this short review. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please like, um, share it, subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. And until next time, lighten up. Something I completely forgot to mention, and I'm pretty sure other two douchers that already mentioned about this lens is that it comes with uh, two different types of lens caps. Um, one is this new magnetic one, and one is this just standard lens cap. So this is the uh, magnet one, and it clicks right there. Um, I will probably never use this clickety click uh, magnet one, but I think it's cool if those of you who like this kind of thing, um, I think you could hook it on to some type of thing that Sigma provides, but it's really cool that it has a magnet lens cap. Normal one. That's about it. <laughs>